just about ready for game two of the Southridge Regional, and a lot of applause goes up because we are right amongst the modern-day folks. They bring in a team with a record of 16 and 8, coached by Roger Sills. The Wildcats will start tonight. Matt Moore, Dustin Mackey, Ben Ferrone, Justin Elpers, and Adam Schiff. The forwards will be Moore and Mackey. Moore is 6'2", 165, a junior. He averages 11 points per ball game. Mackey, 6'2", 190. He is a senior. He averages 8.3 points per ball game. And the center, Ben Ferrone, 6'4", 180, a senior. He averages 8.7. Justin Elpers and Adam Schiff, the uh, guard. Elpers, 6'1", 160, a senior. He averages 8.2. And Schiff, you'll remember him as the quarterback on the football team. 5'11", 175, a senior. He averages 11 points per ball game. Rounding out this modern-day lineup, and we will see all of them, Andy Whaler along with Kurt Sills, Jake Tucker, Andy Weinsapple, Jared Schiff, John Keeper, and Dominic Ferrone. You've got two of them off of the bench, averaging better than six points per ball game. As far as the Paoli Rams are concerned, the starting lineup tonight for Coach Mike Brown, very much the same as what we have seen all year long. Derek Van Emmon and Luke Kimmel will be the forwards. Van Emmon, 6'5", 175, a junior, 9.8 points per ball game. Kimmel, 6'190", a senior, 6.9 points per ball game. The center, Tristan Vance, he had a huge sectional for Paoli. He's 6'6", 230, a senior, averages just under 13 per ball game. The guards, Michael Harmon and Dusty Cole. Harmon, 6'155", a senior, averages just under three a ball game. And Dusty Cole, 5'11", 180, and a senior, 12 and a half for ball game. Off the bench, four Paoli tonight. Expect to see David McDonald, Travis Cole, Joby Stevenson, and Evan Seacat. And if things are going well, we'll see Brian Wolf, Josh Thomas, and Brandon Chastain. Just about ready for the tip. We'll take one more break and come back with the opening tip. You're listening to the Southridge Regional on Mix 95. It's been 11 years since Tony and Pam Howe opened the doors of Anthony's Cars. Now, due to their new ownership of the Saddlebrook Country Club, Tony and Pam need more time. That's why they're selling all inventory at Anthony's Cars to run the Country Club full-time. Over $1 million worth of beautiful cars, trucks, and vans will be liquidated by March 31st. So now is your chance to get that new vehicle. Rates are as low as 7.5% for qualified buyers. So hurry for the best deal on vehicles to Anthony's Cars by March 31st. Anthony's Cars, Highway 37 in Orleans. A.O. Smith Epco Plant proudly supports the youth of Orange County and surrounding areas in their athletic endeavors. A.O. Smith Epco is happy to be a world producer of items for the home, like small electrical motors for leading manufacturing companies of refrigerators, microwaves, range hoods, bath exhaust fans, and other household appliances. A.O. Smith Epco, proud to be a part of your home and industrial family. Bring comfort to your home. A.O. Smith Epco. Well, back at Southridge High School, just about ready for tonight's second game of the Southridge Regional with the Paoli Rams, the defending regional champions, taking on Evansville Modern Day. The Wildcats, they come in with a record of 16-8. and eight. They are coached by Roger Sills. The Ramblers, they come in with a record of 19-4. and four. They finish the season ranked number 13 in the Class 2A Bowl, and they are coached by Mike Brown, and to say the least, he has been under the weather this week. Uh, spent the day in bed today. Hopefully he's got enough rest and is ready to lead this Paoli squad to another regional win here tonight. Of course, he has that exceptional regional one-loss record. He has lost only one regional contest. Give him a week to prepare, and your team's going to be in trouble if you're going against him. And Paoli, they're on the court now. They are clad in the traveling purple with the uh, gold stripes. And modern day, they won the sectional here at Southridge. They come out in the home white uniform, trimmed in red with gold as well. And Dave Dedrick will take you through tonight's action. Well, we anticipate a game up and down the court. It will be for Roan and Dance to tip it up. The winner will take on Winchester in the Southridge semi-state next week. Winchester rated number one in Class 2A. Ball tapped in the backcourt. Mackey passes it ahead on the left side to Elpers. Back out to shift, high post to Ferrone, swing it on the right side to Mackey. Here's a three right wing, shot bounces twice, no good off the arm of Elpers. Rebound cleared out of there by Vance for Paoli. Michael Harmon to the offensive end as the Wildcats open up in a man-to-man -man defense. Paoli in their traveling purple. 
Rams set up the offense. Harmon at the point, drives top of the key, reverses, pulls it back out. Now dribbles to the right wing. Lob pass down low to Vance on the right block. One dribble turn, shot up off the glass, no good. Rebound cleared out by Mackey. Mackey looks up court, nobody open. Passes it ahead down the left side to Elpers. Fires it on the right side to Moore. Moore behind the arc. Haley also man-to-man. -man. Schiff drives down the lane, left side. Scoop shot up and good. Adams gets the first two of the game. It's two to nothing on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. Full court pressure. We played nearly a minute. Modern day up by two. Pass in midcourt to Vance. He takes it across the timeline with the dribble. Used up the dribble. Now back out to Van Emmon. Van Emmon between circles on the right side to Harmon. Harmon with the fist play. Now sets up the Rams offense against the man-to-man. -man. Right side to Dusty Cole. Cole looks for cutters down the lane. Nobody open to Vance at the top of the key. Tristan with the dribble, used up the dribble, needs help, back out to Cole. Cole around his man, drives right side, slices between two players, puts it up and good off the glass. First two were tied at two here on the Babcock Motor scoreboard. Helpers into the offensive end, crossover dribble, left side between the legs. Behind the arc, passes at top of the key for Rome Fakes, drives down the lane, left side, puts a running one-hander up, no good. Rebound Tristan Vance for Paoli, clears it out to Harmon. The Rams look to get the lead now. Played a minute and 40 seconds on the Babcock Motors scoreboard, 2-2. Two to two. Cole pulls it out behind the arc with the dribble, takes it to the top of the key to Van Emmon. He lost it between his legs. Ball loose at midcourt. Harmon gets it. He scoops it off to Van Emmon. Now ahead to Kimmel. Rams reset the offense. Luke drives baseline. Bounce pass. Right side. Cole around his man. Laid it up and good. Dustin Cole got four. And Rams lead it for the first time, 4-2 to two on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. We've played two minutes. Barone into the offensive end, top of the key to Mackey. He drives down the right side, takes it all the way in, stops, puts it up off the glass, and good. And just like that, we're tied at two. First two for Dustin Mackey. He averages eight points a ball game. 5.40 and counting. Van Emmon will bring it across the timeline. Melby's got to give it back first to Harmon, and now Harmon across the timeline. Coach Sills won at 10. It was pretty close, but the Rams just barely able to beat that count. Top of the key, the pass to Cole. Left side, it goes to... Kimmel, pass down, low to Vance, capped away right back to Luke, he puts it up in traffic off the glass, no good, tipped up, recovered by Van Emmon, short jumper, right baseline, up and good, Derek Van Emmon's first two, and the Rams lead it again, 6-4, to four. quickly in the offensive end, Schiff, down into the left corner with the dribble, out front to Moore, passes the right side, Mackey fakes, drives down, right wing, 10-footer, no good, Luke Kimmel the rebound for Paoli. Gives it out front to Harmon. Down the left side to Kimmel. Kimmel fakes three, lobs it in down low to Vance and the double team. To help defense that time. A good job by Ferone to come over and knock it out of bounds. Now, Ferone knocked it out of bounds, had the ball in his possession with a foot on the line. The substitutions begin for modern day. They're going to run them in and out. I think they brought in two or three freshmen that time. Whaler, Winesapple, and Keeper along with Tucker in there for the modern day Wildcats. Rams didn't take an opportunity to get anybody in that break. They will the next time, I'm sure. Kimmel lobbed it in to Vance in the triple team. Tristan put it up, no good. Rebound, Van Emmon, no good. A second time front of the rim, no good. And Derek Van Emmon raised in for the second opportunity. And this time it looks like Derek will be called for an over-the-back foul. Van Emmon a little bit frustrated. He left that rebound follow short. Should have made that one. That'll be his first foul and first on the team. Another substitution for modern day is uh, 40. Kurt Sills checks into the ball game. And 42, Matt Moore will go out. Rams come out with full court pressure. In the backcourt to Tucker. Down the right side to Whaler. Whaler takes it all the way in. Stops from 10 off the glass. Too hard, no good. Rebound Van Emmon for Paoli. Clears it off in the backcourt. Quickly to Cole down the right sideline. Dusty passes top of the key to Van Emmon. They look down low. They spread them out. Trying to work it to Tristan down low one-on-one. -on -one. He's got it on the baseline. On the right side, back to Kimmel. A long three is good. Luke Kimmel buries it from the left corner. First three of the night for Luke. They only up nine to four. 425 and counting in the first quarter on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. Whaler down the right sideline with the dribble. Passes it out front to Winesapple. Swing it left side to Sill. Back top of the key, Whaler stops, dishes it off on the right side, the shot up and good that time by John Keeper, his first two. It's nine to six, full court pressure. Kimmel in the backcourt in the double team, ahead to Harmon, ball knocked away, and there's a tie-up between Whaler and Harmon, a jump ball, and this one I believe will stay with Bailey. No, we're yeah. Yeah, stay. yeah, stays with okay. Bailey. And now Travis Cole will come in, replacing Michael Harmon, and quickly back in, uh, Matt Moore in for the modern day Wildcats. Dustin Mackey as well. As staying in there will be 32, Ben Ferrone. Here's Travis Cole driving right side, put it up off the glass and good. Cole's first two right in off the bench. 
11 to 6 Paoli on the Babcock Motor scoreboard. Down the left sideline, Moore with the dribble. Top of the key pass to Whaler. Takes it on the right wing. Fakes, bounce pass down. Low in, shot up and good by Matt Moore off the glass. First two of the night for Moore. It's a three-point lead. Ball knocked away, stolen in backcourt. Driving down the right side, Perot. His shot no good. And finally coming out of there with it for Paoli is Luke Kimmel. So the Rams dodge a bullet there. And Dusty Cole brings it into the offensive end. He gives it off to Travis as the Wildcats stay in the man-to-man -man defense. 3.19 to go on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. 11 to 8. Paoli on top. Lob it in. High post. He goes to dance. They cut. Tristan turns in the lane. One dribble. Shot off the rim. No good. Rebound cleared out of there by Mackey. Mackey brings it up with the dribble. Bounce pass on the left side in the lane. Perone drives. Lays it up and good with the left hand. He's got two. It's 11 to 10. Paoli on top by one. Under three minutes to go in the first quarter on the Babcock Motor scoreboard. We told you it would be up and down. There's been very little stoppage so far. Paoli clinging to that one-point lead. Right side, Travis Cole with the basketball. Bounce pass in the band. Knocked away, stolen from behind. Mackey the other way. Mackey takes it all the way in, puts a shot up. Good, counted out of foul. And it will be modern day back up on top. 12 to 11, four now for Mackey. And that's going to be trouble for Paoli because Derek Van Emmen was the one reaching in for the foul. That'll be his second personal foul and second on the team as well. So imagine that he's going to see some time on the bench. Mass substitutions, Paoli, they get McDonald, Stevenson, and Seacat in there. And uh, trailing it by one as uh, Dustin Mackey steps to the line. He's leading the way for modern day so far with four points. One thing modern day does not do well, shoot free throws. 58% as a team. Mackey is a 56% free throw shooter. He's shot up and good. Two-point lead, five on the night now for Mackey at 13 to 10. The Wildcats on top, full court pressure. Seacat has it in the offensive end. Evan behind the back dribble, lost it on the floor, and it's picked up there by Schiff. We come the other way. Schiff with the dribble, takes it to the free throw line, stop, leans in, couldn't get the shot. Mackey right wing shot in and out, no good. Rebound Stevenson for Paoli. Paoli controlling the boards, but they trail on the Babcock Motor scoreboard by two. Double-team Cole out high to Stevenson. Back to Cole on the right side. High post pass McDonald to Seacat. Makes three. Passes it out front now to Travis. Travis with the dribble. Top of the key. Rams looking. Needs some scores. Gives it off to Kimmel. Kimmel back out front now to Cole. High post to McDonald. McDonald fakes. Feeds it in to Stevenson. Joby drives down the right side. Contact. And there's going to be an offensive foul called on Joby Stevenson as Adam Weinzapple steps in to take the charge. Well, it's either going to be a charge or a travel. They call the charge against Stevenson. That's his first. Third on the team. Give it to Mater Day. Length of the court to go. As they will face the full court pressure applied by Paoli now. 157 remaining on the Babcock Motor scoreboard. First quarter of play. Mater Day up by two. Full court pressure. Pass comes in the backcourt to Weinzapple. Passes it up out front to Elpers. He drives down the left side. Makes that rather ship. Schiff has it, and Schiff used up the dribble, needs help, Whaler has it, he'll take it on the dribble to the top of the key, crosses over down the left side, Whaler used up the dribble, out front, the pass goes out high to Moore, Moore drops it in on the right side, he's shot off the front of the rim, no good, Evan Seacat the rebound for Paoli, out front, quickly, Travis Cole to David McDonald, McDonald in the double team, splits it with the dribble, lobs it over in the corner to Luke Kimmel, but Kimmel had broken towards the basket, that's turnover number five on the Paoli Rams. Uh, what uh, Modern Day wants to do defensively is make you do things that you normally don't. They put the, hand, the uh, ball in the hands of McDonald that time. He's not used to dribble penetration and then trying to dish off. And he just uh, threw it out of bounds over the head of Luke Kimmel. Luke, of course, was cutting to the basket, anticipating the shot. Whaler at midcourt drives all the way in, and there's Joby Stevenson to step in and take the charge. So Joby comes back and makes a good defensive play to give the ball back to Paoli. First foul against Modern Day. That's the first on Whaler as he went in a little bit out of control. Joby with the big uh, charge drawn. And now Paoli a chance to tie again, trailing at 13 to 11 on the Babcock Motor scoreboard. Both teams in a bit of a drought as Dusty Cole back into the ball game. Has it basketball top of the key. Now to Harmon. High post pass to Cole, right side to Travis. Travis drives on the baseline. He tried to bounce it into Stevenson, but it goes off the foot of Sills out of bounds. Paoli ball underneath their bucket. It seems like every stoppage, though, even on a kickball out of bounds, that Modern Day makes the substitution. Jake Tucker comes in. They play a lot like the University of Iowa. Pass it out high to Travis Cole. It goes up high to get it. Travis with the dribble. Works between the double team, and there's going to be a reach-in foul. This time it looked like they're going to nail Andy Whaler, 31, yep. with that one. Well, Whaler, he 
Only two fouls called so far on Modern Day, and both of them against Whaler, so he will go to the bench now as uh, 30, Justin Elpers, one of the starters, he checks back into the ball game. 101 to go in the first quarter on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. Paoli down by two. Cole in the backcourt ahead to McDonald. McDonald high post pass to Cole. Dusty back to Travis. He lost it and got it back. Travis back to Dusty. Dusty works top of the key. Drives to the free throw line. The ball tipped away from behind. Picked up by Modern Day ahead to Elpers. He drives down the left side turn. And then as he tried to make the spin move without putting the ball on the floor, he'll be called for a travel. Now he put it down initially, and Travis Cole took that dribble away from him with the uh, the effort to get back defensively. He tried to spin to the lane, and that's the turnover. Give it back over to Paoli. McDonald to throw it in for the Rams. Comes into Harmon. Back to McDonald. McDonald looking. Used up the dribble. Head to Travis in the middle to Dusty. Dusty in the double team. Used up the dribble. Back to Harmon. And Harmon takes it high out on the right side, passes in the middle to Cole. Dusty stops, fires 10-footer, no good. Rebound pulled out of there by Ferone. Ferone quickly left side to Elpers. Elpers stops behind the arc, left of the key, shot up good. Elpers, a long-range bomb. 16-11, long lead pass to Dusty Cole. He drives right side, shot up off the glass, and good to Rams there for right back. Six for Dusty, 16-13. Under 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Into the middle against the press. Ferone passes it on the right side to Tucker. Tucker drives to the free throw line, kicks it out on the left side. Sills, a long three shot, no good. Rebound by Cole. He throws it at the length of the court, and that's the first quarter of play. Modern Day will lead it after one, 16-13 on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. You're listening to the South Ridge Regional on Mix 95. Finding the right balance between growth and security for your retirement funds becomes more complex every day. Now there's only one place you need to go for all your investment needs. The Investment Center, located at the Jasper and French Lick offices of Springs Valley Bank and Trust Company. A registered representative of AAG Securities Incorporated, member NASD, is located right in the bank for no obligation investment consultations. To find out more, call or visit the Investment Center at Springs Valley Bank today. Investments offered through AAG Securities Incorporated, Springs Valley Bank and AAG Securities Incorporated are not affiliated. Most people believe their pet is the one member that completes their family. Just as you are committed to your pet, Quality Buckeye Feeds are committed to providing a complete, healthy line of dog food for the life of your dog. Buckeye Feeds provides a balanced diet of proteins and nutrients your dog needs. Buckeye Feeds has a full line of cat foods, food for calves and horses, including Buckeye's milk supplement for foals. For Quality Buckeye Feeds, boarding or professional grooming for your pet, call Dr. Bill McDonald's Veterinary Clinic on US 150 in Rigo. Call 472-3103. 16-13 at the end of the first quarter of play here in the South Ridge Regional Class 2A Modern Day on top on the Babcock Motor Scoreboard. And they have the ball to start at Elfers has it right side to shift. Shift looking as the Rams open up in a 2-3 zone. They played man-to-man -man in the first quarter. Give the Wildcats another look. Pass it in the corner to Moore. High post pass. Here's Ferone driving down the lane. Put the shot up good. Counted. And a foul on Paoli. Kristen Vance tried to step in and draw the charge. Didn't get there in time. That'll be his first personal foul. That's a foul number four against Paoli as the team. Ferone, he goes to the line to shoot the one. He's got four points so far. First quarter, modern day, 7 out of 15, 46%. Paoli, 6 out of 12, 50%. Perone, just a 45% free throw shooter, misses this one. Rebound pulled down by Van Emmon for Paoli. Paoli down by 5, their biggest deficit of the night. And now it will be a 2-1-2 zone put up by the Wildcats of modern day. Rams pull out their offense. They spread it out. Kimmel used up the dribble, top of the key, passes it right side to Harmon. The Rams go with their starting five, Van Emmon, Kimmel, Vance, Harmon, and Cole. Michael has it right side, pass it down low in the lane to Cole, back out to Michael. Here's Van Emmon, three, right of the key, front of the rim, no good rebound. Michael Harmon drives in, puts a shot up, no good. Rebound, Tristan Vance up and in. So Vance with the second opportunity, his first two of the night. They only back within two on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. High post pass, here's Perone twisting, drives down the right side, spins towards the bucket, puts the shot up, no good. He has fouled, and that'll put him back at the free throw line. That foul going to go on Luke Kimmel. That'll be the first on Luke, fifth on the team. Perone, too quick for Paoli in there right now. He's able to make spin moves and get to the bucket and back to the free throw line. He's 0 for 1 so far tonight. Three-point modern day lead on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. Free throw up and no good. See Rex Gary or Steve for the best deal on a new or pre-owned car, truck, van, or sport utility vehicle. Babcock Motors, south edge of Orleans. 
The next one by Ben Ferrone, the 6'4 senior on the way, lefty, back of the rim, no good, all purple underneath, and Tristan Vance has it for Paoli. Gives it off now to Michael Harmon. Rams just controlling the boards 15 to three. Out front, Harmon works to Kimmel. Again, dropping back in that 2-1, 2 zone. Harmon, high post pass down low. It goes into Vance's turn, shot up and good off the glass. Four now for Tristan. Rams gonna work it down to their big man. They can't stop him. Paoli back within one at 6.35 to go. Out front, Elfers has it, top of the key on the right side. A long three by Schiff. They'll make that run of Moore. Matt Moore, and then we've got a foul underneath on the rebound. Count the bucket by Moore, but this foul will go on modern day, and it'll be on 32, Ben Perrone. Perrone picks up his first personal foul. That's number three on modern day as a team. Modern day shooting just one out of five from the free throw line so far tonight. Paoli, they have not been to the free throw line yet. Paoli will have the length of the court to go. Modern day, it took the lead about three minutes to go in the first quarter and have not given it up yet. Full court man-to-man -man pressure, inbounds pass, comes to Vance, gives it off to Harmon, and now Modern day denied that pass. Now they'll quickly drop back into the 2-1-2 zone. Out front, Kimmel left of the key into the corner to Cole, left side back to Kimmel. Kimmel looking down low, they're going to try and get it to Tristan Vance if they can. Out front, Harmon with the dribble, drives inside the arc, into the corner, right side to Cole, to Harmon, swing it left side. Luke for three on the way, and he bagged another one. Two on the night for Luke, he got six. And the Rams back within one, 21-20 at 6.03 mark. Schiff in the backcourt, gives it out front to Tucker. Tucker with the dribble, bounce pass deep into the left corner, driving in more. Top of the key, Tucker fakes, drives down the lane, bounce pass all alone, right side up and good by Weinzapfel. Adam Weinzapfel, first two of the night. 23-20, Modern Day on top. Cole has the ball tipped away from behind, stolen by Modern Day, quickly the other way. Moore into the offensive end, gives it back to Tucker. He drives down the lane, shot up side of the rim, no good. Rebound, Tristan Vance for Paoli, and as Vance comes down with it, there is a foul called on the Wildcats. I think it's gonna go on 21, Tucker. We'll wait and make sure that they put that up on the board. Yeah, the frustration, he missed the wide open shot in the lane, went over the back trying to get the rebound, Tucker with his first foul. That's number four on the team. Moore will come out of the lineup for Evansville modern day. Van Emmen will throw it in. The Rams down by three at the 535 mark of the first half. It comes into the corner to Harmon. He lost it, throws it back in. He tried to save it himself, but he can't. It's going to be turnover number eight on Paoli. Another Good pressure that time by the Wildcats. Elfers back into the ball game for modern day, and uh, Schiff is going to come out. Well, Paoli this is another opportunity. Two straight turnovers now. Out front, pass the ball to Sills. Goes back into the corner to Tucker. Top of the key to Elpers. Drives down the lane. Running one hander up with the glass. No good. Rebound. Tristan Vance for Paoli. Ripping it out of there. Harmon quickly up to Cole. Dusty drives right side. Fakes. Back out to Van Ammon. Swing it left side to Kimmel. Drives inside the arc. Dump it down low to Vance. Left side blocks. One dribble up off the glass and good. Tristan Vance with six. 23-22 on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. We're near the five-minute mark of the first half. Modern day on top. Left side, Elpers has it. Passes the top of the key. Sills drives down the lane. Contact shot up, no good. Rebound pulled down and put back up by Weinzapple. No good. Ball still loose, tipped around. And finally, coming out of there, Derek Van Emmen with the rebound. And a foul will be called on Evansville modern day. But for the first time, they get a couple of cracks out of that their offensive end. Sills aggressive to the boards going after that loose ball. that You, you said they, they got a couple of cracks at it. Couldn't get anything to fall. That foul on Sills is his first. And now five against Modern Day as a team. 23-22 on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. 450 remaining in. First half of play. Full court pressure. They deny the inbound pass. Dusty Cole has it. Now they drop back because Modern Day will pick him up in the half court zone. Dusty recognizes that. Tells everybody to back off. And he sets up the offense against but now is almost a 3-2 or 2-1-2, Bert, just depending on where the man in the middle yeah. helpers wants to play. Yeah, it flattens out to a 3-2 with the ball on the wing. Has it on the baseline, the Rams. Van Emmen pass out front, tipped away nicely. Out front by Tucker. He tried to save it, but he goes into the Rams' cheer section, and it will go back okay. to Paoli. That was just a real nice play by him. He knew he wasn't going to be able to come down with the interception on the pass, but if he could just tip it into backcourt, he had the momentum going that way. He just tipped it a little bit too far. He tipped it about 30 feet ahead of him, and uh, it just goes out of bounds in, in front of the Paoli cheer block over there. Rams again a chance to see if they can come up with the lead. Too many turnover here as out of late. Ball comes right into Dusty Cole. 
hanging back on Cole is Moore. Now he retreats, and Dusty will bring it across the timeline with the dribble. Passes it out front to Kimmel. Kimmel left to the key, drives inside the arc. Look down low, nobody open to Van Emmon in the corner. Back to Kimmel. Swing it right side to Dusty Cole. To Kimmel, uh, Kimmel cut in. The ball passed behind him, but Travis saves it along the sideline. He only just not sharp here on the offense this first half. Travis used up the dribble, lobs it right side. Dusty set, fires three, in and out, no good. And the rebound pulled down by Ferron. Ferron clears it off in the backcourt. Gives it up to Moore. Back to Ferron. Swing it on the left side to shift. He fakes, pulls in, thought he'd fire two, doesn't. Bounce pass down in the lane. Driving Ferron, shot up off the glass too hard. Tipped around, loose, pulled down by Moore. His shot is no good. And coming out of there with it, finally, for Paoli, Tristan Vance. Gives it off to Travis Cole. Into the corner, right side to Dusty. Back to Travis. High post pass down low. Here's Tristan turning in the late shot. Short, no good. Rebound Cole in traffic. Put it up. He is blocked. But a foul will be called on modern day. Everybody just sort of backed away looking at that rebound, wondering where it was going to go. And there was a hole in the middle of the lane. And there was Dusty Cole. The ball comes right down to him. He got uh, the shot blocked from, the, uh, from in front. But it was the man behind that picks up the personal foul. That's Perrone, his second and sixth on the team. We well, want to say hello to Paul and Mary Crane here tonight. We understand that they're tuned in. First time that they've missed a ball game in a long time. Well, you're missing a good one here tonight. And hopefully you'll be able to come down to Southridge next week as the shot by Dusty Good. We're tied to 23. And Dusty Cole with seven points on the night. But it just seems as though he hasn't really gotten into the rhythm of the ball game. Some uncharacteristic turnovers on his part as far as not, uh, not knowing that a player was behind him ready to knock it away. Dusty with the second, tries to give the Rams the lead again and just shot in and out and back in. Rams up 24-23 with 3.26 remaining in the first half. Evan Seacat into the ball game for Paoli. He had the, the jitters. It really showed in the way he handled the ball first time in. See if he hasn't calmed down now. Schiff has it down the left side, drives on Kimmel. Kimmel rising down to the baseline, now pulls it out with the dribble, passes it out front to Mackey. Here's Schiff, a long three, left side is good. Adam Schiff has got five, and modern day back up on the Babcock Motors scoreboard, 26-24. Seacat in the offensive end, Kimmel three, left side, shot in and out, no good. Rebound modern day, David McDonald comes flying through trying to get it, and David will be called for an over-the-back foul. That foul on McDonald will be his first, sixth on the team, and will go the other way. It was just a matter of, you know, if that shot didn't go in, Modern Day was going to have the rebound because there were four Modern Day jerseys underneath the boards that time. 3.05 in the first half on the Babcock Motor scoreboard. The Wildcats up by two in the basketball. Down the right side, Moore takes it with the dribble, goes all the way into the arc, passes the top of the key, swing it around the left side, ship another three, no good. Rebound by Kimmel for Paoli. As we mentioned, they are not shy about putting up. You've got to get out on shooters. Travis Cole brings it across the timeline, works against the half court, 2-3 zone. Kimmel right corner, bounce pass McDonald down low to Shelby Stevenson. His shot blocked short, no good. And the rebound pulled down by Moore and nearly thrown out of bounds, but saved there by Tucker. Now Seacat steals it, and it's picked up by Travis Cole in the backcourt for Paoli. Rams now settle down, see if they can try and tie it or get the lead back. McDonald has it, double teamed in the corner, and his pass is thrown away. Rams nine turnovers. Tucker comes out of there with the loose basketball. Tucker drives in here. Ship three left side. He got another one. Adam Ship on fire. 29-24. Eight now for Ship. 2.05 to go on the Babcock Motor scoreboard. First half of play. The Rams down by five. Seacat into the offensive end. Gives it off to Kimmel. Left side. It goes to Cole. Travis launches three, and he got it. Answered. The Rams need it. Five for Travis. 29-27. Under two minutes to go in the first half of play on the Babcock Motor scoreboard. Schiff has it out front. Now he's getting a lot of attention in this Rams defense. Used up the dribble. Passes it off into the corner to Perone. Back out to Schiff. Here's three more on the way. This one's going to be no good. Deep rebound pulled down by Stevenson for Paoli. Clears it off in the backcourt to Travis. Travis across the timeline. Lobs it ahead to Evan. Seacat into the corner. Used up the dribble to McDonald. McDonald's pass is batted away again. And stolen and picked up by Weinzapple. Ten turnovers on Paoli. To the offensive end. Moore has his pocket picked nicely by Travis Cole. The other way we come. Travis on the dribble, drives in, puts it up. Oh, nearly got it to fall on an acrobatic shot. He's fouled, and he'll earn him at the free throw line. And we'll see who they're going to put that foul on. Looks like it'll be on 41, Weinzapple. That'll be his first, seventh on the team. Cole fouled in the act. He'll go to the line to shoot two. He can tie it 
if he can hit both. Big spark by Travis off the bench here tonight. 77% free throw shooter. His two can tie it here tonight. 29-27, free throw by Travis. Back of the rim, no good. Babcock Motors scoreboard, Chevrolet, Oldsmobile, Buick, Pontiac, Chevy trucks. They've got a great selection of them. <laughs> Highway 37, south edge of Orleans. Yeah, tough on the play-by-play -play guy because we just had nine players shuttle into the ball game. Four for Paoli, and I think they changed everybody for modern day. Well, Harmon in there along with Cole and Tristan Vance for Paoli. So the two Coles, as Travis tries to make one out of two at the line, and he does. 29-28. Six now for Travis into the backcourt. Elpers has it with the dribble. Paoli picks up full court pressure man-to-man. -man. Elpers across the timeline, takes it to the free throw line. Now passes it back out front to Whaler. Elpers swing it on the left side to Sills. Sills, the coach of the Sun, takes it to the left of the key. Lobs it deep in the corner to Mackey. Mackey with the dribble, takes it out to the wing to Sills. Sills looking into the corner, finally finds Mackey again. Working it on that left side, we're under a minute to go, 29-28. Here before halftime, Whaler drives into the wing, passes it out front to Sills. Sills fakes, leans in, puts a shot up in traffic. He will be called for traveling. And on modern day, their fifth turnover. Might not have been a travel, but it just looked like it. He stopped, hesitated, leaned in, took a step, and it just looked like something was out of sync. That's because he's 6'4", 170. <laughs> <laughs> kind of gangly he's out there. Lanky, leaning, isn't he? And I tell you. Give it back to Paoli. 43 seconds to go. Down by one right now. See if they can score the last points. Full court pressure now. Travis has it up ahead to Dusty into the middle. It goes to Michael. Michael stops. Bounce pass. McDonald left side. David up off the glass and good. Paoli back up on top here. 30-29. 30 seconds to go. Quickly we run back the other way. Elper stops top of the key. Bounce pass out to Tucker in the corner for Roan. Lob it down low. And the shot no good. But the rebound pulled down by Phil. His shot no good. And Paoli comes with the defensive rebound. Travis into the offensive end. Gives it up the dribble to Dusty. Rams now going to go for one. Into the middle to Dusty Cole. Right side to Travis. With nine, Travis used up the dribble in the corner. McDonald, his pass is batted out of bounds with 5.8 seconds to go. Okay, David's gotten himself into that situation three or four times tonight. And I think that's the first time that uh, Monterey Day hasn't been able with their long arms to get a deflection or a steal. They got the deflection, but it was out of bounds. 5.8 seconds to go. Paoli up by one in the basketball down at their end of the court here right before halftime on the Babcock Motor scoreboard. Dusty inbound pass to Travis. Fakes three. Drives to the free throw line. Running one hander up. Back of the rim. No good. Rebound. Vance. He tried to go up. No good. Rebound. Travis at the horn. No good. And that's going to be the first half of play. The Rams will lead it by one, 30 to 29. You're listening to the South Ridge Regional on Mix 95. Have a leaking pipe or a drip in the faucet, then you probably need a licensed plumber. Call Darty Services Incorporated in Orleans. They'll send a plumber right over. Darty Services Incorporated also does excavating and has backhoes, trenchers, and dozers, large and small, for all types of jobs. Need your septic tank cleaned? Darty Services Incorporated has high-pressure water jet cleaning, electric sewer cleaning, and TV camera inspection equipment. With all their equipment, Darty Services can install you a septic tank, too. Worried about the March snows? Darty Services even does snow removal. Call Darty Services at 865-2619. Hey, Joe, ever get caught short on cash between paychecks? Sure. Ever had an emergency and you needed money fast? Oh, yeah. Ever made a mistake in your checkbook? Uh-huh. Well, with worry-free free checking only from Orange County Bank, those things wouldn't be a problem. You need cash, you write a check, you're covered. They call it overdraft courtesy, I call it worry-free. Plus, if you open your free checking account now, you get an RCA boombox. Worry-free, free checking only from Orange County Bank. Your bank for life. Member FDIC, limited time offer, some restrictions apply. Slick roads, brown grass, cold temperatures, and gas bills? Are you tired of them? We'll break out of the winter blues with a new vehicle from Eddie Gilstrap Motors in Salem, Indiana. The one-stop dealer for Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, Chrysler, Plymouth, Dodge, and Jeep vehicles. Need to get your yard ready for spring? Haul all your supplies in a new Ford Ranger or Dodge Dakota. Looking for a full-size truck to pull your new boat or camper? Try out a Ford F-150, a Dodge Ram, or the all-new Ford Super Duty line of trucks. Or maybe you just want to cruise into spring with an all-new Ford Mustang or Dodge Avenger. 
to whatever your plans for spring are, Eddie Gilstrap Motors can supply you with the right vehicle for your needs. Now's the time to buy with rebates as high as $5,000 and interest rates as low as 0.9% on select models. So remember, spring is just around the corner and great deals on new and used vehicles are just down the road in Salem, Indiana at Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Half time of game number two here at the South Ridge Regional, and it is Paoli leading by one, 30 29. Close ball game. Three ties, four lead changes. Paoli jumped out early. Modern day came back, taking control of this ball game about midway point of the first quarter through the midway point of the second quarter. For the Rams again, able to work the ball down low and get Tristan Vance involved. Some good outside shooting by Luke Kimmel. Paoli owning the boards, 24 rebounds, eight on the offensive end, 11 rebounds for modern day, five on the offensive end. Paoli, though, way too many turnovers. That's hurt them here as they have committed 10 turnovers in the first half compared to five for the Wildcats of modern day. And, folks, it has been a revolving door at the scorer's table. Every time a break, modern day putting in two and three players, the Rams using their same rotation. And right now they have got this game with a one-point lead on the Babcock Motor scoreboard in their favor, 30-29. You're listening to the Southridge Regional on Mix 95. Planning for your future not only involves retirement, it also includes anticipating your health care needs. Your State Farm agent Jeff Jones and Paoli can help with long-term care insurance. It's the sensible, affordable way to help you pay for long-term care should the need arise. Start planning for your future health care needs now. For details on these costs, coverage, restrictions, and renewability of long-term care insurance, see your State Farm agent Jeff Jones on Main Street in Paoli. Call 723-3053. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Does your crowd get unruly waiting for a pizza? The wait is over at Hometown Pizza, Pasta, and more. Call in a pizza and it'll be ready in 30 minutes or it's free. Dine in and it'll be on your table in 30 minutes or it's free. Why wait? And remember, every Tuesday night is family night at Hometown. Soft drinks, pizza, and breadsticks for just $15.95. It's all at the Hometown Pizza, Pasta, and more on East Main Street in Paoli. Place your order at 723-7777. All right! There are lots of ways to recognize a true winner, but the best way is with an award from J&B Trophies. You can choose from award plaques, trophies, or gift items, and J&B Trophies will customize your engraving to fit your specific occasion. When recognizing someone special, remember J&B Trophies. They have many gift items, too, that may be engraved and personalized for a family member or friend. For any event that marks an accomplishment, call Mark or Rick at J&B Trophies at 723-4534. Start the 99 NASCAR season off with your very own NASCAR and Winston Cup collectibles. Whether you're cheering for Jeff Gordon or Dale Earnhardt, the locker room on the square in Paoli has everything you need to help your favorite driver reach the checkered flag first, like T-shirts, caps, wallets and keychains, and much more. The locker room also features custom airbrushing and specialty license plates. So if it's got to do with sports, it's got to be the locker room on the square in Paoli. Call 723-3663. On the Babcock Motors scoreboard at halftime, Paoli is leading it by one, 30 to 29. Bert Pettigrew will tell you how we got to this point. Well, we got to this point by modern day shooting pretty well from three-point range, and uh, that, more than anything, is carrying them offensively. Paoli doing a decent job from three-point range, hitting 50% so far. As far as uh, the percentages at the half, Paoli 12 out of 26 from the floor, 46%. They were 6 out of 14 in the second quarter, 42%, 6 out of 12 in the first uh, quarter of play. Paoli went to the line just four times in the first half. Those in the second quarter, they hit three of those for 75%. Paoli, three-point shooting, three out of six, 50%. They were two out of five in the second quarter of play. As far as modern day is concerned, they shoot the uh, ball at a 40% rate, 12 out of 30 for the half. They were 5 out of 15 in the second quarter, 33% after going 7 of 15 in the first quarter. But of those five field goals in the uh, second quarter, three of them were from three-point range. They hit three of five three-point shots in the first half for 60%. Four out of seven for the half, 57%. They were one out of four from the free throw line for just 25% in that first half of play. Paoli on top by one, 30 to 29. We're at the half of the Southridge Regional, and you're listening to Paoli Rams Basketball on Mix 95. 
About this time of year, you're wishing you hadn't maxed out your credit cards. And when can you add that extra room on your home? And how will you ever get the kids in college? There is an answer. Paley Mortgage. They can refinance or consolidate your bills based on the equity in your home. There are programs for A, B, C, and D credit customers, and bankruptcy is not a problem. Paoli Mortgage can help rebuild your credit and get you over your financial crunch. Call Paoli Mortgage on the square in Paoli today at 723-5000. Scoot on in to Cars Unlimited on Highway 37 North of Mitchell. They have great deals on every car on the lot. Cars Unlimited has available bank financing for up to 60 months. Stop in soon for the biggest selection around of good, clean, quality used cars. Bring your vehicle in for an even better deal on a trade-in. Check Cars Unlimited first when you're out test driving. Cars Unlimited on Highway 37 north of Mitchell. And don't forget, they have bank financing available for up to 60 months. That's Cars Unlimited on Highway 37 north of Mitchell. Sports fans love comfort to come home to. And Indiana Natural Gas has the answer for you. Clean, efficient natural gas to heat your home, run your appliances, water heater, dryer, fireplace, and more. When you use gas, use only pennies a day to supply all the comforts you want. There just isn't a more economical way to make your home comfortable. Make the natural choice for today and tomorrow. Indiana Natural Gas, West Hospital Road in Paoli. If you're age 50 or older, we'll give you an auto insurance discount from Auto Owners Insurance. Mature drivers have fewer and less costly accidents, so we'll charge you less for your personal auto insurance. Insure both your car and home with us and qualify for more premium discounts through Auto Owners Insurance. Your Auto Owners Insurance agent is Waynick Insurance Agency with offices in Paoli and French Lick. Well, we're down with Mike Brown on the court. Coach, first half, and what we got to do in the second half? Well, we got to handle their pressure a little better. It took us a while to get used to it. Once we did, we handled it well. We've, we scored five times out of 12 off the breaks. We got to keep running the ball back on them, and we can't let shift get open for any more threes. Those two threes hurt us quite a bit. Any major changes defensively? No, we're just we're going to go back and play some man. We wanted to play a little man, a little zone to see what was best. And I think both are okay as long as we get back and find people. Good luck. Thanks. Head coach Mike Brown of Paoli will be back with second half action. You're listening to the Southridge Regional on Mix 95. Getting ready to build a new driveway or parking lot and need some asphalt? Calcar Quarries has hot mix asphalt for paving. Now at Calcar Quarries, you can have that beautiful driveway entrance or parking area you've always wanted, and they deliver. Don't need asphalt but looking for crushed stone? Calcar Quarries has all types and sizes of stone to cover roads, driveways, or to prepare for building. Calcar Quarries will deliver your crushed stone, or you can drive in and they'll load you up. Calcar Quarries on Highway 150 just south of Paoli. Call 723-2109. Good luck, Orange County teams in regional play. Your thoughts may be turning to buying that new home. Give Rosemary at Trinkle Group a call and turn this spring into a celebration with a brand new home. There are new listings of homes and acreage all priced right and ready to sell. Looking for something special? Then call Trinkle Group to find the home of your dreams. Don't leave finding that perfect home to chance. Whether you're buying or selling, call Trinkle Group at 723-HOME. That's 723-4663. About to get ready for second half action here at Southridge High School, where at the half, the Paoli Rams are on top of the uh, Evansville Modern Day Wildcats by a score of 30-29 to 29 as we get ready for second half action. Paoli looks like they are going to go with their original starting five. Modern day looks like they'll do the same or close to it. All right, well, we'll see what happens here. Second half action about ready to go here from South Ridge High School. And Coach Brown said the Rams got their work cut out for them. We'll see what happens. Rams have it and a one-point lead here to start the third. Dusty Cole into the right corner to Kimmel. Lob it down low to Vance. If that's what they want to do. Shot too hard off the glass. No good. Rebound Matt Moore for modern day. Brings it into the offensive end. Pulls it out front. Moore took it all the way in. Dishes it off to Ferone. Ferone into the lane. Hook pass over on the right side to Schiff. Schiff used up the dribble. Needs help. Finally coming out. Elfers passes it to the left of the key to Mackey. Down low in the lane. Shot short off the front of the rim by Elfers. Rebound Dusty Cole for Paoli. First Cole. few minutes of this half will tell who's going to win the basketball game. See if Paoli can't hit a few shots, put some pressure on this modern-day ball club. See if they can't make him play from behind again, but they played from behind early on in the game and played very well. Now Kimmel wades into the zone. He launches three left of the key. Back of the rim, no good. 
Rebound tipped out, but that time good position by Ben Perone underneath. Tristan Vance went over the back. He'll pick up the personal foul. That is his second first on Paoli as a team. Uh, Van Emmen and Vance both with two fouls for modern day. Perone and Whaler both with two fouls. And now we've got a five-second count on as modern day could not get the pass in. That'll be turnover number six on the Wildcats. Well, there's a lot of physical play going on in open court right now. The officials letting both teams go, see if maybe they don't tighten things up here in the next few minutes. 7.03 to go here. Lob it in. It goes to Vance. Tristan catches. Puts it up off the glass and good from 10 feet. Eight points for Vance. It's 32-29. We're under seven minutes. The Rams lead it by three. Pass it around the perimeter. Tucker drives down the left. Same. Takes it all the way in. Up and good. We'll make that Whaler 31. Andy Whaler in there. And Whaler got it quickly. The Rams the other way. Vance into the offensive end. Fakes drives down the lane. Kicks it out into the corner. Cole fakes. Drives in. Passes out to Van Emmen. Three. No, it's just a two, I think. Two, right. His foot yeah. was on the line. I thought the outside official was going to give him three, and he was. But Ron Grimes underneath said no on the line. And Derek Green's a long jumper. He's got four now on the night. Good call by the underneath official getting that one because Van Emmen did have the toe on the line. Long inbound pass comes in on the right side. Moore has it, passes it on the right wing to Whaler. Whaler drop, dribbles in, that is, gives it to Mackey. He puts a shot up off the glass, no good. Rebound by Perone, no good. A second time by Perone up and in. Boy, Ben Perone not to be denied. Kept after that one. He's got six. It's 34-33. Full court pressure. Harmon in the middle to Kimmel. Kimmel beats it with the dribble. Now to Cole. Dusty takes it left side, dribbles down to the baseline. Pulls it back out to Kimmel. Kimmel to Cole. Cole with the dribble into the left corner, back out to Luke. Luke looking, and they pass it around the perimeter of the zone. Dusty fakes three, back out to Kimmel. Right side, Harmon goes into the corner. Here's Van Emmen driving in, bounce pass down low on the baseline. Double team, Dusty Cole. Bounce pass in the middle of Kimmel. Luke lost it, got it back. Wheels in, puts it up in traffic, no good. Rebound pulled down by Perone. Perone long out left pass, goes to Whaler. Swing it on the left side, three by shift, no good. And Van Emmen the rebound for Paoli. Clears it off to Harmon, run it up the right side. Dribbles into the free throw line, back to Kimmel. Luke fakes three, back to Dusty. Dusty drives all the way in, puts a scoop shot up off the glass, no good. Ball tipped out of there, picked up by Kimmel for Paoli. Now to Cole, lob it in down low to Vance. Tristan turns, puts it up off the glass and good. So Paoli comes up with the two points, 10 on the night for Tristan Vance, 36-33. Aoli on top. 5-10 and counting on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. Top of the key, Mackey lobs it into Perone. He wheels down the lane. His shot no good. Rebound by Vance. Tipped out of there. Kimmel has it for Paoli. Kimmel, long lead pass. It goes to Cole. Dusty drives. Right side. Lay it up and good. And he's got 10, and it's going to be a 20-second timeout taken by Modern Day as the Rams lead it by five, their biggest lead of the ball game. You're listening to the Southridge Regional on Mix 95. Are you tired of the same old frozen burger on a bun for lunch every day? Well, then step into the fun atmosphere of the Super Burger, where each hamburger is made fresh each day, never frozen, and made to order any way you like it. If you're not a burger fan, then you can try the tasty barbecue sandwiches, chicken filet, fish, or even dinners like shrimp and chicken planks. For the best chili in town, head to the Super Burger on West Main Street in Paoli. It's where every sports fan eats. Well, the Rams, Burt, finally get a little bit of a run here to start this third quarter of play. They really needed to start with a big run here. They got the points out of both Cole and out of Vance, both of them in double figures with 10. Now, just got to take care of the basketball. Coach Roger Sills trying to calm his team down. Rams drop back into their half-court man-to-man defense. Pass it in the lane, driving down his Elfers. Got the lane shut off, passes it out front. Keeper shot up and good. John Keeper gets his fourth point of the night for a 38-35 on the Badcock Motors scoreboard. 4.35 to go in the third. Out front, Harmon to Cole Dusty to the free throw line to Luke. Fakes three left side, drives on the baseline, bounce pass. It goes through Vance's hands, out of bounds. And the Rams well, have turned it over for the 11th time tonight. That is the only problem that Paoli has had. They just haven't taken as good a care of the basketball so far as they usually do. And it looks as though they're really being rushed a little bit by this defense by modern day. Long pass to Elpers. He dishes it off left side. Shot up in good by Tucker. So Tucker gets two, and just like that, modern day back within one, 38-37. 414 and counting in the third. Right side, Harmon has it across the timeline. He's in the double team, dribbles out of it. 
Used up the dribble on the wing. Looks for help. It goes into Cole. Dusty in the double team. Tipped away. Van Emmon back to Harmon. Rams work it on the right side. Michael Harmon dishes it off. Here's Dusty Cole down the lane. Scoop shot up and good off the glass. Dusty Cole with 12. 40-37 Paoli. Into the offensive end. Elpers goes over to Tucker. He fakes three. Drives to the free throw line. Jump pass on the right side. Shot up by Keeper is good again. Boy, John Keeper a couple of baskets here. Now he's got six. 40-39. 3.39 and counting on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. Paolia by one and the basketball. In the lane, here's Cole. Bounce pass. Left side, Harmon fakes one dribble. Shot up and good. Michael Harmon, a good move on the left side. Paoli answers back. 42-39. 3.20 and counting. Tucker down the right side with the dribble for the Wildcats. Fakes. Stutter step. Bounce pass on the left side. The keeper fakes. Drives in. Jump hook. Shot back of the rim. No good. Tips around. Tristan Vance the rebound for Paoli. Vance clears it off to Harmon. Ahead to Kimmel. Kimmel in the double team on the right wing, out to Harmon, left side to Van Emmon, swing it left side, hole for three on the way, back of the rim, too hard, no good, Keeper the rebound for modern day, Keeper into the backcourt, gives it up to Elpers on the left side, make that Tucker, three on the way, no good, A rebound, pull down there by Tristan Vance, clears it out, and the Harmon to Vance, Vance near midcourt, Wisely stops before he gets to the middle of the court. Fires it in the lane to Cole. Right side to Kimmel. Lines up three. In and out. No good. Tipped around. Loose ball picked out of there. Long lead pass. Modern day. Ahead to Keeper. He tracks it down along the baseline on a good play. All alone. Three by Elpers. Left side. No good. Rebound though by Keeper. Back out to Elpers. Elpers going to fire up another three. This one's in and out. Bounces around. No good. And Tucker the rebound there for Modern day. And as the shot goes up and good. There's going to be a foul called as Modern Day just pounds the offensive glass this time as they were beaten badly on the boards in the first half. This time, though, they have come out well, to score big time. Shot hit the bottom oh, of I'm the sorry. net. It didn't, didn't go in. There will be shooting, too. The foul was on Tristan Vance. That will be his third, so that's trouble for Paoli, second on the team here in the half, and it sends Tucker to the line to shoot two free throws. 59% Jake Tucker, six foot one sixty, Anna Jr., and his first free throw is on the way. Front of the rim, no good. Babcock Motors, Orange County's only new car dealer. Stop in tomorrow. See Rex, Gary, or Steve for the best deal on a car, truck, sport, utility vehicle, or van. Well, they only send in three fresh bodies. Modern day, they send in four. Now it's just a matter of which bench is going to give the lift. And it looks more like a modern day goes back to the starters as opposed to the bench. Second shot by Tucker's up in and out and back in. He's got three and substitution shift in and Tucker out. 42-40 on the Badcock Motors scoreboard. Paoli leads it by two. 219 remaining in the third quarter of play. Van Emmon with full court pressure into Travis Cole. Who had a big first half for Paoli. Rams got to get the ball down the court. They're using up a lot of time. And finally gives it in the middle to Kimmel. And Kimmel breaks the 10-second barrier. Passes it out front. Used up the dribble to Cole. Travis to the left of the key, back to Luke. Luke looking in the double team, goes over to Van Emmon, back to Luke. Kimmel spreads it out, cross-court pass in the corner to Seacat. Seacat fires it on the diagonal pass into the corner. Van Emmon, three, shot, no good. Rebound, Seacat, one dribble. Evan, turnaround, shot up off the glass and good. Evan Seacat, a big basket, 44-40. Paoli on top by four. A minute 40 and counting here in the third. And now Seacat will be called for a bumping foul as he tried to stay close with Andy Whaler. Uh, they a lot of, let a lot of that type of stuff go, and Evan got stuck with the foul that time. That's his first, third on the team here in the half. Minute 40 to go in the third quarter. They only up four on the Babcock Motor scoreboard. Schiff has it. He's been quiet in this quarter. After having a big second quarter, they lobbed the ball in down low. Turnaround shot by Mackey. No good. Derek Van Emmon the rebound for Paoli. Van Emmon works it out of trouble to Cole. Long lead pass to Stevenson. Joby drives, leans in, short jumper, right baseline, up and good. So Stevenson answers with his first two of the night. Paoli up by six. A minute 20 to go. Quickly the other way. Tucker kicks it out on the left side. Three on the way. No good by Moore. Rebound Travis Cole. The Rams the other way. Ahead to Seacat. Evan used up the dribble in the double team. Back to Travis. Into the corner right side to Kimmel. Kimmel works on the wing. Still has got his dribble alive. And now dribbles out of trouble. Dishes it off out front to Cole. Bounce pass left side. Van Emmett sets. Fires a long three shot. No good. Rebound tipped away. Travis Cole went flying in there over the back of Adam Schiff. And he'll be called for the foul. Just seems like we've got a little bit out of what Paoli wants to do offensively. We're firing up a few too many threes. 
getting more into what modern day likes to do. It's an up and down game, Paoli winning right now, but you got to slow things down a little bit, get more into Paoli's offense. That foul on Travis Cole was his first and fourth on the team. 46 to 40 with 57 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Modern day has the basketball. And the length of the court to go. Full court pressure. Rams had one five-second count on earlier. Inbound pass. It comes to Tucker. He brings, I make that rather Whaler. He brings it across the timeline. Whaler used up the dribble. Bounce pass down low in the lane. And that time, the pass from Perot just went out of bounds well, to the bench of modern day. He was it just miscommunication. Uh, it, it, it was uh, Whaler who was over here on the wing. He was going more toward midcourt when the pass went to the corner. Harmon caught in a difficult spot, nearly has the pass stolen along the sideline by Perone. It'll be Paoli basketball yeah, across really the way. Picked up the dribble at, at the wrong uh, position on the court. They have the sideline there along with the midcourt stripe as extra defenders, and he was caught in a box, and Paoli fortunate to get it back. Seacat fakes three, drives in a two from 15. He got it, foul, counted, and it's a three-point play for Evan Seacat. And he'll go to the line to try and give the Rams their biggest lead of the night, which would be nine. 48-40 on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. That foul's going to go on Ben Perone. That's his third personal foul. Still just the first on modern day here in the half. And I believe we've got a technical foul call, possibly, on modern day as well. And Paoli now will, first of all, have Evan Seacat shoot yeah. the free throws. He'll shoot the free throws, and... Wouldn't surprise me if they just leave him up there to shoot the technicals as well. Yeah, because Dusty Cole is not into the ball game right now. Well, a great contingent of Ram fans come down to back the purple and gold here at South Ridge across the way. 48 to 40. 34.1 seconds remaining here in the third quarter on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. And Evan Seacat, who is in seven out of seven from the free throw line this year, steps up there for Paoli. Shot up by Evan is good. You're exactly right, Bert. They're just going to leave him there and let him yeah. stroke it. Yeah, he's the best free throw shooter on the team. Hasn't gotten as many opportunities as some of the others, but he, he can just flat out shoot it. And he can give the Rams a double-digit lead, and he does at 10. 50 to 40 with 34.1 seconds to go. Now just have to make sure that the modern day doesn't get a good shot to close things out in the quarter. Drained them all three with nobody around the lane. How tough is that? Here in the regional for a freshman. 51-40, Paoli on top, their biggest lead of the night. And they have the basketball. See if they can close out the third quarter on a positive note. Travis Cole tripped at midcourt, lost his dribble, got it back, and now they're going to call a foul on modern day. Well, and the modern day fans are going to be upset. Really should have had an over and back violation because Cole's foot was on the midcourt strike. But instead, the foul goes against Matt Moore. That'll be his first and second on the team. Evan Seacat to throw it in in front of the Rams' bench. Comes to Michael Harmon in the backcourt. Harmon with the dribble, used it up, goes to Cole. Travis weaves in traffic, dishes it off left side. Seacat for three, back of the rim, no good. And we're going to have a rebound foul underneath. And this one will go on Paoli as we'll come the other way. Well, Evan's well, feeling it just a little bit yeah. long on that one. Yeah, just didn't want that shot at, at that particular time. It would have been better to back it out and then to close things out in the quarter. Full court pressure. They're going to lob it long to Schiff. Schiff's going to take it all the way in on Stevenson. Drive stops. Boy, he made a mistake there. Now he's got a tough turnaround shot in the lane. No good. Rebound, Seacat for Paoli. 11 seconds to go. Gives it off to Cole. Ahead to McDonald. David lost it and got it back. Passes it out front to Travis. Travis with five seconds, fires one up top of the key, no good, got his own rebound, no, he lost it, picked up by Modern Day and throwing it on the run, shift, no good, will go to the fourth quarter, Paoli leads it by 11, you're listening to the South Ridge Regional on Mix 95. Paoli Incorporated, manufacturers of fine furniture since 1926, is a strong supporter of today's youth and their academic and athletic endeavors, because we believe in achievement, pride, and the sense of responsibility. All these things will enable the individual and community to reach their ultimate goals. Like the manufacturing of fine furniture, achievement takes time, concentration, and the desire to do the best job possible. Hale Incorporated is proud to be a part of Orange County and proud to be a part of tonight's high school game broadcast. When you're in the market for a new car, there's lots of places to choose from. But when it comes to buying a big rig, there's only one place. That's Sonny's Truck Sales. Sonny Kendall has been in the trucking business for years and still stands behind his word and services what he sells. Just like looking for a new car, there's lots of things to consider. 
warranty, gas mileage, and service. So the next time you're considering a big rig, visit Sonny's Truck Sales. You can even kick the tires if you want. Highway 37 North in Paoli. Phone 723-5874. Well, the Rams now come out to the final eight minutes as they are leading this ball game by 11, 51, 40. Modern day has it to start the quarter. They have it out front for Sills, and Sills will be called for a walking violation, and that will give the ball back over to Paoli. Nine turnovers now for Modern day. They only had five in the first half. Substitution for the Wildcats. Ben Perone, number 32, comes in. He's joined by Mackey. The Rams go with Dusty Cole, Derek Van Emmon, Luke Kimmel, Evan Seacat, and Tristan Vance. Vance has it along the left sideline to Cole. Dusty beats the 10-second count to Van Emmon. Van Emmon on the right wing steps, cross-court pass, left side to Kimmel. Kimmel, the Rams spread it out, cross-court pass, nearly intercepted. It goes to Van Emmon. Great bounce, pass down low to Tristan Vance. He laid it up and in, and Paoli up by 13, 53-40. 12 now for Vance. 7.30 to go in the ball game on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. Perone down the lane. His short jumper, front of the rim, side of the rim, and through. So Ben Perone, two more. He's got eight. 53-42, 7.18 and counting in the game. Cole at midcourt, bump, no foul. Cross the timeline now to Vance. Vance looking, spreading out the defense, gives it off to Cole. Dusty drives, gives it in the corner. Seacat sets, fires three, and he got it. Evan Seacat drains a big three. Nine on the night for the freshman. 56-42 with a minute gone here in the fourth on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. Stutter step, helpers, passes it out front to Mackey. Long two right side, no good ball. Fought for loose on the floor, tipped around. Van Emmon will come down with it along with his counterpart, Sills. Both of them wearing 40, and they're going to call it on the 40 of Evansville Motor Day. And that'll give the ball back over to Paoli. So Sills picks up that personal foul. That's his second. That'll be the third on the team here in the half. Well, Paoli coming out, trying to take control of this game at the start of the fourth quarter. In the backcourt, Michael Harmon has it. Harmon against the press to Van Emmon. Van Emmon used up the dribble to Harmon. Harmon beats the count. No, he does yeah. not. As Paoli caught for the first time with the 10-second count, 12 turnovers in the game, but just the second in this half. Yeah, and that, that's what Paoli has really done well this second half. First half, they were committing turnovers that they just don't commit. And, and in the second half, they have taken better care of the basketball. Modern day. They can come back from 14 points down in the lane. Shot up off the back of the rim. No good by Moore. Tipped around the ball loose. And finally, Moore takes it away. Puts it back up and in. Players all over the court. And Matt Moore has got seven. It's 56-44, 624 and counting. Again, the Rams need to get the ball across the timeline. Van Emmon to Harmon ahead to Cole, and they do it. Dusty drives right side, leans in, shot baseline up and good. Cole answers back with a big two of his own. 14 for Dusty, the number on his uniform. 58-44 on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. Down low for Roan, gives it off to Mackey. Mackey back out front, a long three by shift is no good. Or make that brother actually by Whaler no good. And we got a rebound foul called on Evan Seeker. And Evan ended up with huh. himself lying on the back in the lane. They say that he's going to come over the back, but look like uh, more that the modern day player under went underneath of him. They only had the rebound, so the foul on Seacat, his second, fifth on the team, that gives modern day another possession, still trailing it by 14. We played two minutes of the fourth quarter on the Babcock Motor scoreboard. 58-44, lob it in into the backcourt. Sills has it. Gives it off up front to Whaler. Whaler to Sills. Boy, there's an NBA three on the way by Sills. No good. Rebound this time by Van Emmon for Paoli. He clears it off in the backcourt. And now they let the traffic go by. Harmon back to Van Emmon. Van Emmon has the ball kicked. And it was a big foot by Sills at midcourt. And Paoli will have it. Say, modern day, though, they have turned up the defensive intensity. Very physical under the boards right now. And a timeout going to be called by Coach Roger Sills of modern day. His team trails it by 14. You're listening to the Southridge Regional on Mix 95. Helping to keep their community and America growing. Randy Lawyer Trucking is a proud supporter of Orleans and its young athletes. Just as they began as a small company and watched it grow, so does a child. It is born and raised to work hard, compete honestly, and strive to always be better. Randy Lawyer Trucking encourages each resident of Orleans to nurture and support its young citizens to take an active part in the community that they will someday own. Serving the Midwest, it's Randy Lawyer Trucking in Orleans. 
Are you tired of the same old frozen burger on a bun for lunch every day? Well, then step into the fun atmosphere of the Super Burger, where each hamburger is made fresh each day, never frozen, and made to order any way you like it. If you're not a burger fan, then you can try the tasty barbecue sandwiches, chicken filet, fish, or even dinners like shrimp and chicken planks. For the best chili in town, head to the Super Burger on West Main Street in Paoli. It's where every sports fan eats. Five minutes, 42 seconds remaining in this championship game of the Class 2A Regional at Southridge. And Paoli the basketball and a 14-point lead. Kimmel in the offensive end down low to Cole. Dusty back, bounce pass back out front to Luke. The ball knocked away, stolen. Coming the other way is Sills. Sills going to drive, put it up, shot no good. Rebound tipped around, and Harmon finally pulls it down there for Paoli. Rams again dodge another bullet as modern day unable to convert on the turnover. Paoli just got to start taking better care of the basketball. 5-15 and counting in the game. High post pass to Cole. Knocked away. Stolen out front. Quickly the other way. Driving shot up and good by Dustin Mackey. And Mackey has got seven. 58-46 with five minutes remaining in the game. And modern day turning up the pressure as Perone tips the ball out of bounds. Well, I think Paoli needs to turn up the intensity just a little bit to match what modern day is putting out there. Very rare that you would see a Paoli team at this point not fresher than what their opposition is. But modern day with the substitution rotation that they put in there, you're not going to play more than a minute, two minutes at the most before you're taken out. So Paoli the basketball, the length of the court to go. Derek Van Emmen to trigger it in. And he comes into Luke Kimmel. Kimmel will take it down the left side with the dribble. Gets it across the timeline. Luke in the double team. Dribbles out of the double team. Bounce pass in the middle to Cole. Back to Travis. Right side to Derek Van Emmen. Van Emmen used up the dribble. Passes it out front to Travis. Travis between the circles. Left side to Kimmel. 445 into the high post. It goes to Cole. Ball knocked away. Stolen. It's loose on the floor. Modern day comes out of there with it again. Driving down the right side. Mackey gives it off into the corner. A long three shot in and out. No good that time by Elpers. Rebound again. Modern day. Long three top of the key by Schiff. Missed everything. And it will be Paoli basketball. Well, the student section for Paoli. They take up nearly a quarter of that gym down there. And they're all chanting with the air ball. And Coach Mike Brown, meanwhile, a chance to talk to Ron Grimes about his players getting bumped around a little bit down there. Paoli now ready to inbound. 58-46, it comes into Dusty Cole. They say clear out, and now they do. Van Emmen will bring it up to Cole. Dusty across the 10-second line in the middle to Kimmel. Back to Cole. Dusty used up the dribble, lob it ahead to Luke. Luke had to jump way up in the air to get that. Luke in the double team, into the middle, it goes to Cole. Dusty being body, no foul called. Weaves down the lane, back out to Kimmel. Three by Luke on the way, shot in and out, no good. Rebound, Vance, I mean, he got pushed out of there. And they're finally going to call a foul and put Tristan Vance to the free throw line. And I thought they may even let that one go. Now, like I say, it's getting physical to say the least under there. Vance was going up for the shot, got a pretty good elbow to the chest and was shoved out of there. And he goes to the line to shoot two. That foul on Tucker is his second and fourth on the team. At the line, Tristan Vance for Paoli, shot up and good. 13 points for Tristan. That's been a big part of the difference of this ball game. Paoli shooting seven out of eight from the line. Modern day, just two out of six from the line on the night. Well, he threw three quarters. Paoli was 21 out of 45 from the field, 46%. Modern day, 17 out of 46, 36%. They have hit just 10 of their last 31 shots, though. It's really cooled off. 59-46 on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. Free throw by Vance. Back of the rim too hard, no good. And it's pulled out of there by Sills. Quickly into the offensive end to Tucker. Into the corner, driving down the lane. Tucker has it from Whaler. Tucker drives. Scoop shot up off the glass. In and out and back in. Jake Tucker's got five. 59-48. Cole loses it up. Gets it back back to Travis. Travis weaves around two men. Puts a shot up and goes off the glass. How he got that one, I don't know. But Travis with two more. He's got eight. 61-48 as we really go helter-skelter into the offensive end. Tucker for modern eight. A three being launched there, and the shot no good by Whaler. Rebound, though, by Tucker. His shot blocked by Van Emmen and pulled down by Tristan Vance for Paoli. And then Vance is fouled in the backcourt with 3.28 to go in the ballgame. All right, now Paoli is really scrambling defensively. They are getting after modern-day shooters, especially on the wings. And it shows with the block. And that foul on Tucker is going to be his third and now sixth on modern-day as a team. One more, and Paoli... Shoots the bonus the rest of the way. 61-48 on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. 3.28 to go in the ballgame. Length of the court to go for the Rams. 
And Van Emmon's going to have to call timeout. And the Rams will take a 20-second timeout, leading at 61-48 on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. You're listening to the Southridge Regional on Mix 95. Okay, all you video lovers out there in Orange County land, Danny's video trivia test for today is where around here can you find a video deal like rent two videos and the third one is free every day? If you answer Danny's video, you were right. Danny's video carries only highest quality movies, family entertainment, children's and animated features, video games and now DVD, and get them for less. Just rent two videos and the third one is free every day. Come by Danny's video at their new location, 728 West Main Street in Paoli today for the best in video selections. Three minutes, 28 seconds remaining in this championship game of the Evansville Regional for Class 2A. The winner will meet Winchester and full court pressure. Vance has it for Bailey into the backcourt. Give it up to Van Emmon. Van Emmon got to get it across the timeline. Finally does the harm, and he drives down the right side in the arc back to Van Emmon. Left side to Travis, to Dusty, and Cole has it. Now Dusty is fouled out along the perimeter. And that should put the Rams, I believe, in yeah. the one and bonus. Put him in one and bonus. That foul should be on 21 Tucker. That'll be his fourth personal foul. Seven as a team. And I tell you, this modern-day team, when they're going to give a foul, they are going to earn it. It's not going to be a little slap. They're going to give you a pretty good shove. It's not going to be a touch. You're exactly right. Now it comes down to Paoli again, as always, hitting free throws here in the fourth quarter. Dusty Cole, a 77% free throw shooter, stands in there for Paoli. 61-48. Free throw up. Back of the rim. No good. Rebound. No by Vance. One dribble turns. And as Tristan lowered his shoulder to go up, he will be called for a charge. And that foul on Tristan is going to be his fourth. So trouble there for Paoli. Still 3-12 to go in the ball game. Team foul number six. So one more and modern day will be shooting one and the bonus. Babcock Motors, Highway 37, South Edge of Orleans. Chevrolet, Oldsmobile, Buick, Pontiac, Chevy trucks. Great selection. Stop by see Rex Gary or Steve tomorrow, and they can get you set up in a new or pre-owned vehicle from Babcock Motors. Now the Rams, 3-12 to go, but Evansville modern day, a very potent offense. Sills brings it across the timeline, takes it all the way in, puts a jump shot up off the baseline, no good, bodies all over the place. Modern day comes down with the rebound. Sills fakes, drives in, his shot is blocked out of bounds by Tristan Vance. We'll stay down with Evansville Modern Day into the court. Modern Day likes to go to that clear out, look for a, a mismatch of some sort. That time they had Sills on Dusty Cole, and Sills just a, two or three inches taller got the shot off. Moore goes into the corner to Schiff. Schiff, good job by Cole to find him. Back to Moore to Schiff. Schiff into the corner, lob it down low in the double team for Roan. Back out front, three on the way. Back of the rim, no good by Moore. Rebound pulled down. Tristan Vance, Paoli. Long lead pass to Travis Cole. Travis now pulls it out with the dribble in the middle to Vance. Back out to Van Emmett. 2.40 to go in the ballgame. 61-48, Paoli on top. Out front, Travis Cole is <laughs> not nearly had some teeth. A jar there. And a well, foul, I believe, will be on Kurt Sills. Sills that time. Looked like one of those wrestling moves with uh, Travis coming off the ropes toward a, a forearm shiver, and he got it to the jaw. Now Travis to the line to shoot. One and the bonus. Travis, one out of two from the line so far tonight. Big eight points for him off of the bench. Got to remember, it's a school day for Paoli tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how long. If they win, if they would happen to win, uh, they're going to celebrate back at Chambers Gymnasium or maybe wait and do something tomorrow. We'll have to find that out from the school administrators. Waiting for subs to come in. And it will be for... Whaler comes back. Yeah, 31, 31 Andy Whaler, six foot a senior coming out will be Matt Moore. He's a man that led them early on before he had that back injury and really hurt his season. Free throw by Travis Cole is up and good. Boy, Travis Cole, solid night. Nine points on the night, and you look down at Paoli's bench, 22 points off of the bench tonight. Timeout taken by Coach Roger Sills of Evansville Modern Day. 2.35 to go on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. Paoli leads at 62 to 48. You're listening to the South Ridge Regional on Mix 95. Citizens Bank is offering you some TFC. Yes, TFC. Totally free checking. That means no service charges, no per check charges, and no minimum balance. It's totally free. Plus, bring in your unused checks from another financial institution, and we'll buy them for up to $10 when you open a new Citizens Totally Free Checking account. What have you got to lose? Well, service charges, per check charges. Banking your way. Banking your way. Citizens. Citizens Bank. Banking your way. Member FDIC. 
Alpaoli leads it. Burt just 235 to go on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. But you really don't yep. feel very comfortable, do you? Well, not yet, but you look down at the percentages. Modern day, 15 shots in this quarter. They've hit four. Paoli with the same number of made field goals, but they've only shot it five times. Paoli, four out of five from the field so far in the quarter. Well, they'll be content to oh, take yeah. them all at the free throw line yep. for the final 235 if that's what it takes to win. 62-48. This game was tight through the first half. Paoli got a little bit of a lead there at the beginning of the third quarter and stretched it out. Second free throw. Good by Travis Cole. Ten on the night for Travis off the bench. To the offensive end, Whaler has it, passes it out front to Sills. He drives, angles out to the right side, used up the dribble, lobs it down low in the middle. Ball knocked away, stolen from behind by Cole, but he can't hold on to it, and it's picked up out front by Whaler. Whaler to shift, passes over left side, Sills. He fakes three, and Derek Van Emmons just steals the ball away from him, and then Sills reaches in and fouls him. So the Paoli defense now starting to get the job done. That foul on Sills is his fourth personal foul and ninth on the team. One more before Paoli shoots the double bonus. And it, it was just a matter of Paoli turning it, the intensity up a little notch further. They were already up, but they had to go a little bit higher to match what Modern Day had done when they uh, got into this fourth quarter, and they have done that. Derek Van Emmen at the free throw line for the Rams. Free throw by Van Emmen up and good. Derek hits 75% on the season. He's got five points tonight. That was his first free throw of the night. Another timeout taken by Modern Day. They trail it 64 to 48, a 20 second timeout. You're listening to Southridge Regional on Mix 95. When you or your loved one leave the hospital, you may have medical needs at home. Did you know you do have a choice for your home health care provider? Hello, this is Robin Wilson, pharmacist at Williams Brothers Healthcare Pharmacy. At Williams Brothers, we offer a full-service pharmacy, hospital equipment, oxygen supplies, respiratory equipment, and ostomy supplies, and we do all your insurance billing. Plus, at Williams Brothers Healthcare Pharmacy, we offer free delivery and equipment setup. So when the need is there, remember, you do have a choice. Choose Williams Brothers Healthcare Pharmacy. Well, Derek Van Emmen at the free throw line, but I think it's Ethan Webb putting the show on the sideline. Free throw in and out, no good, and the rebound pulled down by Modern Day. His mom and dad would be proud. Oh, of course they would. Here's a long three on the way. Shot bounces around twice, shot by Moore, no good. Rebound, no put back up by Mackey, and Mackey is fouled, and he will go to the free throw line. Well, those bounces that we understand Modern Day was getting in the sectional when they bounced three or four times, they were going in against... Uh, Perry Central and Forest Park, as well as South Benson, but not here tonight. Well, that foul was called on Tristan Vance underneath, getting after the rebound, and that'll be the fifth on Tristan. Still 2.05 to go in the ball game, so he fouls out and will take 13 points to the bench with him. 2.05 to go. Boy, Modern Day needs to hit free throws, but as we told you, that is not the strong suit of this ball club. And at the line... Mackey's free throw is good. So Dustin Mackey, a 56% free throw shooter. He's got three points on the night. Eight. He averaged, or eight. Excuse, excuse yeah. me, eight. And that's what he averages right at eight. I didn't see your other hand there, okay. <laughs> the next one by Mackey is up, and he got them both. Well, it's 64-51, and immediate foul in the backcourt. Just one second went off. As that foul will go on, Andy Whaler, number 31. Whaler picks up his third personal foul. That is now 10 team fouls against Modern Day. So from here on out, Paoli will shoot two free throws. And Travis Cole, he has been there four times tonight, three out of four for the ball game. He is two out of two in this quarter. Well, I gave Modern Day one extra point. Don't want to do that. 64 to 50. Free throw by Travis, back of the rim. Takes a high go. bounce and falls through. That's the kind of bounce that Modern Day got last week in the sectional. 65-50. Paoli up by 15 points. And the next one by Cole. Back of the rim too hard. No good. Rebound tracked down by Moore for Modern Day. Quickly in the offensive end. Moore going to take it all the way in. Uncontested layup. Put it up and in. We're under two minutes to go in the game. Comes into Luke Kimmel in a triple team. Kimmel's pass knocked away. Stolen. Modern Day has it. Here's Moore. Three in the corner. Shot in and out. No good. A rebound by Travis Cole for Paoli. Cole in a triple team bump, no foul. Ahead to Van Emmen. Van Emmen stops at midcourt ahead to Harmon. Harmon now will pull it back out, and Michael is fouled behind the arc. And looks like Andy Whaler again will be the guilty party here for modern day. Well, that's four of them now with four personal fouls. Whaler picks up his fourth there. It'll send Michael Harmon to the line. He'll be shooting two free throws. 65-52. 
Well, they only not hitting their free throws here in this fourth quarter like they normally do. Let's see if Michael Harmon, 52% free throw shooter, but he just struggled as of late. Ah, uh, this one a high bounce off the back of the rim, no good. Well, Paoli has shot nine in the quarter so far, and they've made five of them, just over 50%. Well, Michael Harmon tries to make one out of two. Second one is up, and this one is good. Three on the night for Michael. That's his average. Another 14-point lead. Shift into the offensive end. He's going to launch three. Missed everything. Rebound Travis Cole for Paoli. Travis is bumped and fouled in the corner as he goes down. Comes up limping just a bit. He'll walk it off as he goes the length of the court with a minute 31 to go on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. Paoli up by 14 points. That foul on Matt Moore, number 42. That'll be his second. A free throw shooting contest the rest of the way for Paoli. Just a matter of stepping up there and hitting them and Right now, the way that uh, Modern Day is committing the fouls, we just want to get out of here without anybody getting hurt. Travis Cole to the free throw line for the Paoli Rams. Shot up and good. Let's see. He's got 12 points on the night. Four out of five from the free throw line here in this quarter. So he's stepping up there and knocking them down in the uh, late going. Second one is up and good. Cole got a boat, 68-52, 90 seconds to go on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. Paoli on top. Whaler drives down the lane, lost it into Ferone. A quick turn lays it good up off the glass. 68-54, 10-4 Ferone. In the backcourt, Harmon's used up the dribble ball, knocked away. Dusty Cole has it. Dusty across the timeline. Angles down the right side. Steps through the double team to Van Emmon. Left side to Travis. And now the Rams are, what are they going to do? Foul called, yeah. okay, and looks like this one will go on Dustin Mackey, number 50. Yeah, Mackey's going to pick up his first personal foul. He gave Travis pretty good shove in the back, and Travis back up to the free throw line. He's been there, let's see, two, four, six times here in this quarter. He's made five out of them. Travis Coles, free throw up, and good. Now he's got 14 points. Eight of them in this quarter. 69-54 on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. A minute nine to go in the game. Looks like Paoli may be heading back here next week for the Southridge Semi-State. Got no problem at all with that. Next one by Cole up, and he got them both. And the Rams are going to take a 20-second timeout. Well, if the Rams are able to hold on, they will be taking on Winchester, who comes away with a 63-59 victory over Indianapolis Ritter. And that will be the game here next week. And let's try and find that information. <laughs> let's see here. who else is going to play down here. Well, they've got everybody in, I think. <laughs> well, next week as we set up uh, for the uh, semi-state in uh, the uh, Class 2A at South Ridge, it will be uh, this winner playing in game number two. The winner from Madison will meet the winner from Greencastle in game one. And then, of course, the winner from Newcastle, which was Winchester, will meet this winner, which looks like Paoli, which will be a rematch of last year's semi-state. 70-54, Paoli on top. Sills along three. Oh, air ball missed everything. And it will be Paoli ball out of bounds. It's been a long night for Kirk Sills. He's tried eight shots. Hasn't hit anything yet. That one about a, as uh, close as any of the others, and it just hit the bottom of the net. Well, I thought Coach Sills was going to take a timeout. Now he said, oh, forget it. I get my guys in that I want. So Paoli now with just 61 seconds away from a victory here tonight. And it would be the 20th of the season. Van Emmon lobs it in to Dusty Cole. Cole in the backcourt to Van Emmon. Used up the dribble to Dusty. Dusty head to Harmon across the timeline. Harmon dribbles between traffic. Used up the dribble, lobs it in the corner to Travis, back out to Michael. Harmon fakes, drives down the lane, it opens up. He puts a scoot shot up and good off the glass. Five on the night for Michael. They make the other six, I believe. Five. Five, okay, 72-54. Quickly the other way, the shot by Tucker. Block got it back, blocked it in <laughs> by Van Emmon. And this foul will go on Derek Van Emmon. <laughs> he was just in there swatting them away like Jabbar, wasn't he? <laughs> he's down there having fun. They, the, Tucker, he's been pushing and shoving all night. He, he, I think Derek just gave him a, a little of what he'd been giving everybody else. That's the first foul on Derek. Eighth on the team now. Or a third foul on Derek. Well, the Rams, under Coach Mike Brown, look for their sixth regional crown. As that free throw 
That was good. Yeah, I know it. Tucker six. made it. He's got six. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. I'm sorry. No. 72 55. Second one off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound Van Emmon, but he is mugged <laughs> from behind. So we'll walk yep. the length of the court. Well. And this will allow everybody now to get into the ball game for Paoli as the Rams stand start to celebrate. Uh, Tucker is fouled out of the ball game. He's the one that's going to pick up that personal foul. We'll both make sure of it. Yeah, they sound the horn now. Tucker is fouled out. He went back after Derek after Derek had blocked his shots with the uh, rebound foul. And he will head to the bench. Tucker, pretty good ball game for him, especially here in the second half. He had uh, six points on the night, and all of them here in the second half of play. Derek Van Emmen waits patiently at the free throw line. The modern day fans give their young men a well-deserved round of applause. They have won their first sectional in school history, but unable to get that first regional crown here at Southridge. Van Emmen at the line. Derek tonight, one out of two in this quarter. Free throw in and out, no good. Been quiet offensively. I think he had a big shot there in the uh, first half. Uh, it was one of those that had his toe on the line for a two, so he's got five points on the night. Rams get victory hug. Kimmel and Harmon and Cole from Coach Mike Brown. Don't get too close to him. He's <laughs> sick, remember? I think everybody else has had it. He's the last one to get it, <laughs> so they figure they're safe. Second there one by go. Van Emmett up and good. That means Brian Wolf will come in. Brandon Chastain, Josh Thomas in as well. Travis Cole and Evan Seacat out there on the floor for the purple clad Paoli Rams. 35 seconds away from a regional championship. Modern Day drives it in. The pass off down low on the right side by Dominic Perrone. 42 shot up and good. His first two. And here comes Wolf. Ryan drives left side. Shot up and good. Wolf answers right back. So Wolf off the bench gets his first two. 75-57. Barone drives down the left side. His shot blocked from behind. Oh, Wolf behind the back dribble. Oh, man, he's putting on the moves. Dishes it off the Seacat. Left side. Two more for Evan. And the Rams roll up into a 20-point lead. 11 for Seacat. Five seconds to go. A long two at the horn off the back of the rim by Moore. No good. And Paoli, 2.6 seconds away from celebrating here tonight. So Paoli going to cut down the nets here at Southridge one more time in regional play. They're the defending regional champions, and they're going to hold on to the crown. It comes into Thomas, and that's your ball game. Paoli, the 1999 Class 2A regional champions at Southridge, 77 to 57 over modern day, and Paoli moves on once again to the semi-state, which will be played one week from tomorrow here at Southridge. Well, Coach Mike Brown's Rams win it. Their 20th victory is a regional crown here at Southridge. 77-57, your final on the Babcock Motors scoreboard. We'll come back for the celebration here. You're listening to the Southridge Regional on Mix 95. For 30